Hello everyone, we are back uh, going to our Hendersonville test route here. Uh, so navigation, this is the first time this has ever happened. Uh, it's rerouted us. I don't know if it sees a little bit of traffic in Hendersonville and decides this is going to be quicker or what. This is the first time it's ever routed this direction, like ever. Uh, it's never done this. So I don't know what's causing that. And again, it still thinks we can go this way. This is a one-way road right here. Um, and so this is the only exit where I am I'm going. I'm going to mainly get us out, and normally I have to anyway, uh, and see if it'll reroute us back the way we normally go. Now turn so we can go through a roundabout. In 500 feet, there we go. turn left onto Greenville Highway. Now turn left onto Greenville Highway. It's funny how this works because um, the camera up here doesn't have water in front of it. Like right here, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's very occluded from the water. My, I really need to replace my wipers. Um, Ooh, very good turn, very good turn. Really like that. It doesn't read the speed limit sign. It didn't read that speed limit sign at all. I don't know if that's going to get it or not. But yeah, it just didn't read that at all. Um, we got this one. Of course, it's going to read this one, and we'll go back up to our normal speed. But yeah, what I was saying about the wipers... Um, it's already dried off now, but, um, I couldn't hardly see through the water and the mud and everything else on the wind windshield. I can now, and everything's clear now, but the camera, it wasn't muddy up here. At least that I could tell. And so while I couldn't see, the camera could still see, uh, and it knew there was a green light right there, even through all that bright sun, and proceeded to go. Has happened, uh, multiple times to where I couldn't see the light, but the car could, and it just started going uh, of course now when I say I couldn't see the light I didn't want to stare at the light because of the sun or something else but as soon as I, I hear it start going then I will definitely um, uh, look at the light to make sure so it did try and slow a little bit for that car so they have regressed whether or not that's a regression or not I'm not sure uh, they have definitely gone back to be more conservative on cross traffic uh, that's, in my opinion, is too conservative now. They probably have adjusted it based on driving style. Yeah, I, I found at least the previous update average to be definitely the best. A chill, just which kind of sit in intersections. Um, assertive would just kind of... It wasn't even that much more assertive, but it would just do stupid stuff like cut out in front of people. Like... And so I found average just to be in between that. It wouldn't cut cut in front of people. Okay, I'm pressing it for it shouldn't. I'm not pressing it now. But um, I'd say this is the best it's ever done this roundabout. Yeah, definitely. Besides feeling like it was going to stop for a yield, it's definitely felt like the most smooth it's ever done that roundabout. So that's good. Could be that there was no traffic. Every time we go through there, there's always a car waiting. And I think my car sees that car and gets really hesitant and it jams on the brakes. Otherwise, it was very good. Light so it's interesting. See the car in front of me only has three of uh, two of its three brake lights. And it still shows two brake lights on the on the car here. So it, it interpolates that it has another brake light. Well, okay. That was a total fail. Um, as you can see, it didn't even try to get in the lane. Um, yeah. That's even so. That's definitely even further downgrade than 10.3.1. 10.3.1 would try and get in the lane, but just failed to get in the lane because of traffic. This had the best case scenario, no traffic this morning, and it still failed it. So that was obviously worse than previous updates. That intersection is going to be very hard for the car to get, I think. And so I'm just going to keep on reporting it until it gets it. Those quick 
small turns the car has a very hard time with it I don't think it just it decides what to do quick enough assertive profile might change that but um, if I ever do this route again uh, we might try assertive to see how it how it works yeah see it popped on the blinker changing lanes to follow no actually okay that was a complete disengagement. It's done that before. That's not the, it goes into the middle turn lane as the main lane. So let's see if it does this well. Last update was the first time it ever did this perfectly. And it continues to do it, so that's good. Because of where we're going, um, Habitat's not open. I would kind of wish it was open this morning. But um, we're gonna actually park right here. Normally you would just see us go out of the parking lot. Um, but we're going to navigate now down to downtown Hendersonville. Okay, I'm just curious if it's going to get us out of the parking spot. Okay, yeah, so it did that. That's good. It got us out of the parking spot. Now here, is, I'm going to have to disengage, I must guarantee, because there's a big dip in the road. Well, let's see, so it's very hesitant. Oh, well, okay, then that's good. Uh, it turned wide enough to where it didn't get into, there's a, it's hard to tell from the video, but there is a big dip there, and I would bottom out if you go too fast over it. So, turning wide, you get in the um, less shallow part of that dip. Again, this is the more appropriate speed for down the of town Hendersonville. Obviously, um, being a couple hours earlier makes a big difference in terms of traffic. <laughs> There is no one here this morning at 8.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, it accelerates, yeah, again, too quickly. This is, it used to learn where areas where there would be a lot of people and like, like as a human, we know this area just like, you shouldn't drive fast in this area. Like, even if the speed limit for some reason is 30, I know that's wrong, um, then like you just shouldn't drive that fast in this area, it's just too quick. And we're gonna make. Now your destination is on the left. No, see, I don't understand navigation. Maybe because it's taking a left there, it's gonna do it right. This is gonna be the end of this video, though, everyone. Um, so, got in the. No, did not get in the correct lane. We're gonna go in here for a quick pit stop. And then we'll go back for our Aldi test, and we're actually going to stop past Lowe's Hardware. Um, if you have any questions for me, as always, put them down below. Uh, this test is really hard for me to see any significant changes. Obviously, a few minor improvements, but I think this update is geared more towards city driving with a lot of people and a lot of traffic going on. It just it map I think it's just map data is what causes the majority of the issues and it is that's what's what it's gonna be until the map data is fixed or they stop relying on bad map data then it's we're gonna keep on having the same issues over and over and over again and so it's just I hope they can figure out what's causing that uh, or how to fix it and that will drastically improve like we would have very few disengagements if map data gets fixed tell me what you think down below uh, about the map data. Are you seeing those problems too? And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.